I was born in a small surf town in New Zealand called Gisborne, or Gisborne. We were all really quite DIY because we didn't really have anything else. We just had to kind of create things like from scratch or from whatever we could find. I made the move to Melbourne because I really felt like I needed to take the next step or take a risk in, in what I was doing. So I kind of just got on a plane and kind of just hit the ground running. My mother was a photographer and like we always had a camera around the house and she was always shooting and we always had albums and looked at slides on um, the projector and things like that. I was into sport um, from a pretty early age, like I was completely obsessed with basketball, like the really classic late 90s like Chicago Bulls era. I wanted to start a print mag after some discussion with some friends about some projects that we were working on. And we were like, there's no voice for people who want to read something a bit more interesting and not just like your standard headlines. We wanted to create something for like a new generation. And particularly like shooting sport, it's definitely something that can become really like addictive and really, you can like there's a kind of different level of understanding with sport. I feel like my roots have probably play, played a really pivotal role. And I think that it goes for everyone. I think your roots are in any type of creative field or any field in general play like a massive role in how your work kind of comes out. Like. And I think it's really important to kind of pay homage to where you come from. At the end of the day, I kind of chose to do it more like DIY and a way that I kind of felt was right to me.